A very common type of application of linear equations is in interest problems. Interest, simple interest, for one year, we'll get it as simple as possible, is just principal times your interest rate, whatever the annual interest rate is. So for instance, if you invest $5,000 at a 3% interest rate for one year, then your interest is going to be, here's your principal, 5,000 times, this is your interest rate, but it's always going to have to be put in decimal form. And you always move the decimal exactly two places, no more, no less. So 3% becomes 1, 2, 0 0.03. If you put 0.3, then you're getting 30% interest. But in this case, it's just 3%. So the interest is 5,000 times 0 0.03 which is going to be $150 for one year. Now what gets more interesting in algebra problems, it's common, give a problem like Sue invested a total of $5,000. in two accounts. One paid 3% interest and the other 5%. If we know that she received $202 at the end of a year, so for one year. How much was in each account? Let's make a guess. That sounds like cheating, but it's really not. Because if you can make a guess and then determine whether or not that's the right answer, you actually know how to do the problem. You just have to figure out, out exactly how it is that you know that's not the right answer. So let's make a guess that there is $2,000 in the 3% account. Now, what does this tell us? There's $2,000 in the 3% account. Then we would also know that there's $3,000 in the 5% account. How do we know that? Because she has $5,000. 2,000 and 3,000 adds up to $5,000. We also would know that the $2,000 at 3% is going to be 2,000 times 0 0.03 is going to give her $60 for the year. The $3,000 at 5% is 3,000 at 0 0.05 is $150. This adds up to a total of $210. So we know this isn't the right answer. It's really close. 
but it's not quite right. As a matter of fact, we also know that since the 210 is a little higher, that she had a little bit less in the 5% account and a little more of it in the 3% account because that would reduce the amount of interest she got. So what if we said there's X in the 3% account? Well, how much does that leave to go into the other account? The two amounts have to add up to $5,000. We got the 3% by subtracting 2,000 from 5,000. So we could say the amount in the second account is 5,000 5, minus X. That, much, that is how much is going to be in the 5% account. This means that the amount in the first account is 0 0.03 times X. The amount in the second account is 0 0.05 times 5,000 minus X. And we know that these are supposed to add up to 202. So what does that give us? 0 0.03x plus 0 0.05 times 5,000 minus x has to equal 202. Get rid of parentheses. So 0.05 times 5,000 is 250 minus 0.05 times X is just 0.05 X. 0.03 X and 0.05 X, these are on the same side. This one's positive, this one's negative. So those two are gonna add up to a negative 0.02 X if we subtract 250 from both sides, well, I cannot write, can I? That's going to leave a negative 48, 202 minus 250. Let's divide by a negative 0.02. That's going to give us X is 2400. That represents the amount at 3%. And since the amount in the other account is 5000 minus X, 5000 minus 240. Is 2600. That's the amount invested at 5%. And I will leave it to you to show that that adds up to $5,000 and that the interest for the principal and that the interest will come out to be 202. So that's a very common type of interest problem and I hope that helps. There's other variations of course, but they're all kind of based on pretty much the same.